Hi everybody. You joined me today for a really cool thing. So today we are doing the initial sort of preliminary weight and balance, which is really, really cool. Why are we doing the weight and balance? Because it's easier than working on the things that scare me. Again, <laughs> welcome, welcome back to Inner Demons Month. So yeah, I thought, you know, just easy, just putting everything on the plane to get an initial weight, that's easy. So like there goes on the, so we've got the rear windows on, canopies on, cowlings on, spinners on. We don't have all of the fairings on, um, but we will just wind up setting all the fairings on top of the wings over where they would normally be. Again, this is just a rough estimate. Uh, first thing we'll do is we'll drain the, uh, we'll drain the fuel out of both tanks, and we're going to consider, for the moment, we're just going to call half a gallon to be uh, the unusable fuel. And then what we're going to do is we're going to need two things. We're going to need a set of scales. Thankfully, the club has some of those. And there's a little crack gola for you there. And also, the uh, club has a couple of wing stands. Uh, we do have to jack the plane up to get them onto the scales, I even though that's not the quite appropriate way to do it. We'll, we'll talk about that later. But uh, they also have a couple of wing jacks, so we'll jack the plane up and then set them down on the scales. So, yeah, the club, so we made the decision. We bought a set of scales a few years ago, which was a great, it was a great deal because it was a set of race car scales, right? And they're, you know, calibrated and, you know, and has the certificate of calibration, etc. cetera. Uh, but one of the plates died, and it was a match set. So it's like, hey, we've got race car scales with only three pads. We said, we'll take it. We got a sweet deal. And so that, here they are. They're nice, big, heavy steel ones. The the only trick is there's there's a couple things about weighing right so one you want to weigh it when it's flight level so for that to happen you would have to have the scales for the main wheels three inches higher than the front wheel well roughly three inches there I am thinking naively that I could pull the plane onto the scales uh, real quick also that's the new tow bar got a sweet tow my wife bought me the tow bar for the ten slash fourteen as a gift and uh, my God I love her. Anyway, so we've got to jack these things up. Thankfully, the club has a couple of wing jacks. On the RV-14, the jack point is the wing tie-down. So you have the wing tie-down ring in place, and you just center your wing jack right on that sucker. You can pick the plane right up off the ground. So we're going to pick them up, we're going to put them down onto the scales, and then we're going to deflate the front tire, and that will give us roughly flight level. I think within, like, 0.15 of a, of a degree, which isn't bad. And again... This is a preliminary weighing. This is not the final thing. Oh, just watching that tail lift off the ground. So, yeah, so here's the thing about lifting that up and then dropping it onto the scales. Seems straightforward, right? Problem is, when you jack that plane off the ground, the wheels camber in. All right, they drop in because they're, they're, there's nothing holding them, holding them to squeeze out, so they sort of drop down. So when you drop them on those scales, there can be some side loading, which can affect the weight, right? So this, again, this is just preliminary. However, the weight will be roughly normal, but it could be transferred differently from side to side. I, I don't know. There's physics involved. So basically what you really want to do is you want to roll the plane onto the scales where the wheels are at their natural widths. And we actually do that. I actually do that after this video. What I do is I use my two furniture dollies. I jack the plane up onto the dollies, and then I roll the wheels from the dollies onto the scales. And the weight, pardon me, the weight difference was 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 measurable, and it was it was the left and right weight was basically what it was. Uh, let me see. What is? Oh yeah. So the weights on. You can see I've got all the fairings and stuff on. The rough, empty weight was twelve forty two. Now that's that's preliminary, right? That's I'm not, I'm missing a few fasteners, etc. So anyway, we're gonna weigh it again later on, which we will do later. So anyway, in the next video, we're gonna start the final panel construction and fi and finalizing the pan. We're gonna call it the panelizing. That's what that's what we're doing. So thank you for joining me, everyone. See you soon.